I'm incredibly excited because today I get to talk to Pete Hines from Bethesda. Pete, how are you doing today? It's great to have you. I'm good. Thanks for having me. You guys had quite the reveal. I was very impressed with everything that you showed. Uh, and the game I want to know most about is Starfield. I'm a big fan of space exploration. And one thing that a lot of people called out almost as uh, a compliment is that they said the trailer was just CGI. I realize you clearly stated it's in game, but can you tell us more about what the goal was presenting it in that fashion as everybody is wondering, they want to know more about Starfield and why it was presented that way. Um, yeah, I mean, we printed it right there on the bottom, <laughs> bottom of the screen so that you would know alpha in game. Um, we thought it was really important to, to do it in engine with game assets um, for what this game is. And it quite honestly allowed us to use a lot of things from the game that, you know, upon further exploration, like I have been noticing the fans already digging into lots of um, conspiracy theories. And I wonder what that's about, whether it's the writing on the on the <laughs> on the glass here or some of the art or whatever it is, um, you know, we, we wanted to give folks a sense of both uh, a sense of place, right, outer space and so forth. But also that um, one of the things that I think the Pesta Game Studios is awesome at, which is it feels real, like all of those buttons and knobs and everything you're seeing has been thought out and is practical. It's not hand waved like somebody, East Vaughn, uh, goes through and makes sure all of that stuff um, has a purpose and a reason for being there. And it feels like a real cockpit as opposed to some decoration. And how did you feel seeing this on the, the digital stage that was E3 and, and seeing the reaction to Starfield Online? Yeah, I mean, certainly, it, you know, anytime you finally get to show even a little bit of what you've been working on, um, it's a pretty, um, a pretty exciting moment to to finally start talking about what you've been making. We're we're big believers that we that we want to use the games to show what we're making and not just speak to it whenever possible. Um, so it was, you know, we we love the idea that Todd and his team came up with for this piece. I think the way they've executed it is is terrific and gives you a good sense of of where they're headed. But obviously, you know, between now and 11, 11, 22, we've got a lot more info to share and a lot more details to go into. But it's a good it's a good start. And that's really what we were looking for. My favorite part was the the charming robot waving hello. It really, really sort of mm -hmm. goes to show how that Bethesda charm is in in the game still. And you did that mm -hmm. within a trailer. Um, I had a question, though. Why, why did you feel that graphics were so important to showcase and and with the engine showing it off, why does it matter so much for a game like Starfield? Um, you know, one of the things uh, that, that Todd talked about when he started the show yesterday was, you know, what he believes, and I agree that video games can do better than any other form of entertainment, and that's that, that, that transportive um, nature, the ability to put you in this world in a way that a TV show, a, you know, a movie, whatever, can't quite do the same because, you know, you've got an avatar, you're actually in this world experiencing it. And, uh, you know, we, we certainly like graphics from the standpoint of helping emphasize that and giving the player a real sense of sp um, space and location. Where am I? This is a real planet that I'm walking around. That's my robot. I'm in, you know, my ship. Um, so I think it's really important from from that standpoint. Um, at the same time, you know, for us, it is we make games, at least in the case of Bethesda Game Studios, makes games that people play for hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of hours. And so while the graphics are important for creating that sense of place, you know, ultimately it is that experience that Bethesda Game Studios is known for. If you've played a Fallout 4, a Fallout 3, a Skyrim, Oblivion, you know the kinds of things that they do and, and their core tenets of, look, we want you to be whoever you want to be in this universe and go and do whatever you find most interesting, whether that's our own story, whether it's a story that you're making up and telling on your own, all of that is okay. And, it's, um, and I think as we go through you'll get a better sense of why are the graphics important once we start to show what we're doing with the game, what that team is building, um, and what they're able to do with a visual fidelity that is, you know, uh, a leap beyond anything that they've done before.
Uh, Starfield also wasn't your only new IP, so I I want to mm -hmm. ask you a little bit about Redfall. This is really really cool. It's it's a vampire game. It's open world. Uh, for you, what's the most exciting part about your your newest game, Redfall? Um, I mean, I, I I love that Arcane has said, look, we we know what we're known for, and we know what we do well, and we want to take that and, and try and go uh, bigger and and do something a little different. So. You know, it's a game you can play by yourself. If you're used to playing games like Dishonored or Prey and you like that solo experience, you can play it by yourself. Um, what I'm most looking forward to is I have two sons. One's 22, one's about to turn 18. Games is how we stay connected um, while they're off at university or, or what have you. And this is a game that I totally see us playing a ton of because of the cooperative aspects, um, the different player uh, and, and the skills and abilities they have are really fun and interesting. And there's a ton, as you play it, um, you, you start to appreciate all of the things that Arcane is known for and how they've woven it into a game like this, whether it's you know, a heavily systems-based approach where it's less about scripted events and it's more about creating cool systems and throwing them in the game together and seeing how they all um, fit together. Um, I think their combat loop is really fun. I think the exploration and the sense of place in the world, um, as you start to learn more about this scientific experiment that's gone horribly wrong that's created these vampires and the cultists who worship them. Um, uh, I, I think it, you're going to get more and more of a sense of why is this so fun to play and different from other things that might look like it, right? If you, it, It's not the same as just any four-player co-op shooter. It's doing a lot of things that Arcane is, is well known for and has spent the last 20 plus years refining and honing and get really good at. And, and I'm super excited for folks to see more of, of Redfall and what it's doing. Yeah, I know our own Miranda Sanchez is incredibly excited about this game. Uh, you did bring up the abilities, so I'm going to ask you, can you tell us more about them? Because we know Layla's a telekinetic. We know Jacob's a sniper. Um, uh, what's Are we going to have more abilities than the ones that you've talked about on the website? Well, so each of the of the players has some some things that they do kind of on their own but then it also like a lot of the the weapons that we show in the game are not player specific um, so you get the flexibility of getting to sort of play a role that fits you while also playing on what your character does so for example if you're playing Remy De La Rosa who's a combat engineer you know she's got a she's got a bot Brebon that she uses um, as part of her, what she brings to combat Jacob, obviously the sniper. Um, the vendor is sort of the uh, internet famous uh, paranormal guy. Uh, so, you know, as you can see in the trailer, he's the one that gets them all into the shit because he's too busy trying to make cool, interesting uh, social media videos and content. Um, but I think each of the players has um, interesting skills and abilities, both for what it's like if you just want to play as them, but then, you know, as we showed off in the trailer, they, they also combine to do some really interesting things, right? As a sniper, you want to get the high ground. What better way to get the high ground than to use Layla's ability to sort of teleport you, throw you up a couple of um, stories if you need to get on the roof of a building uh, to provide cover for your, for your teammates. Um, and I think, honestly, it's in the co-op play where there's some really interesting things um, that happen, how you, how you work together. It is not a... Um, to coin a phrase from another game slash publisher, it is not a Leroy Jenkins game. This is not a game you're going to do very well if you just go running in guns blazing. Um, you know, it, it requires a bit more uh, thoughtful approach than that, especially dealing with some of these um, bosses like we show you uh, in the trailer. Uh, but again, really excited for folks to not only see more of this, but to be able to experience it for themselves and, and sort of see how either playing by yourself or or fitting pieces of a puzzle together with your teammates, how you how you combine uh, to deal with the challenges that the game throws at you. During the reveal, you also discussed trying different things and not just doing one thing over and over again. I think Phil said that. So how would you mm -hmm. best highlight the diversity of genres that Bethesda is bringing to the table with all the games that you have on the way? Redfall, that's my best example. Like here's a team <laughs> who worked on, um, you know, they, they cooperatively developed this, the first Dishonored together, Arcane Austin and Arcane Leon. Um, then Arcane Austin went off and made Prey, which is 
you know, has certainly similarities to things we did in Dishonored, but also did a lot of things different. And then they said, hey, we want to take another step and do something else. And this is where we're going to go. And it's a pretty big leap for them and a pretty big change. But at the same time, they felt like there's, you know, we would sit through meetings and green lights and they would sort of walk us through and they would say, here's all the things that we feel like Arcane is known for and does well and how we're going to bring these to the next game. And here's some things that we've never done or tried before that we've always really wanted to do and we think would make a really awesome game so that everybody sort of sees going in big picture. Like, does that make sense? Is there enough of what we think makes Arcane Arcane for this game will still feel like an Arcane title? And is there enough new here that feels like it's a fresh experience because at the end of the day what you're really focused on is who's making it what is their vision and do you want to play that that's it. like it's as easy as that you don't do like well we need these features for the box or well you know this has become a real fad in the industry lately like where's our free to play shooter like well that's not what arcane austin wants to make so why would you ever go to arcane austin and say hey make a free to play shooter like they want to make a a really interesting uh, shooter that that has a real sense of place and is very dynamic. It's constantly changing. You know, you never really feel like you played the the same game twice. Mm -hmm. I am so excited for this game, though. I did not wear that shirt as a marketing thing. Like, I am a huge <laughs> fan and proponent of this game. I've been so excited uh, as it's gone through development, um, and uh, I'm really excited to to talk more about it and and to show folks more about it. When do you think you will be showing folks more about it gameplay-wise? I'll let you know. The <laughs> content will tell us. The content will tell us when the game is ready to show more. Well, I cannot wait. Thank you so much for making time to chat with us today. And I'm of really course. looking forward to everything else you show. Awesome. Thanks for having me on.